So Kate, what do you look forward to when you travel out of the country? Um, I love to enjoy their daily cases because mm. I'm a foodie. I know. No apologies, yeah. I know that. And I don't turn down a chance to explore culture through museums mm -hmm. and libraries. And nothing is compared to a train travel. You know? I love traveling by rail mm -hmm. to enjoy the beautiful sights mm -hmm. in the comfort of my carriage. All right. But the good news is that experience will be replicated in Lagos before long with the Blue Line Rail Service. Okay. It's the first of seven lines that will surely change the face of travel in the city. That's right. Not only that. The Lagos Rail Project will improve the livelihood of hundreds of thousands in the city and also better the economy of Lagos State. That's what we'll be sharing with you today. I am Kate Harmony. And I am a bar from Craig. First, we'll take the news highlights. Welcome to the news highlights on Lamata FR. Buses to be deployed for the operation of the Mile 12 to Ikrodutan Bus Rapid Transit BRT extension will arrive the country soon. Information last week indicated that the first set of buses may soon arrive, while the rest will follow shortly after. It is projected that over 430 buses will be deployed for the new BRT operation, which will offer commuters affordable, safe, and convenient means of transport from Ikorodu to CMS. In order to ensure that the buses deliver rapid movement of commuters, the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, Lamata, has constructed the necessary infrastructure to support the operation of the BRT system. Unlike the BRT system from mile 12 to CMS, which BRT lanes are bilateral, the extension to Ikorodu is a median operation which greatly reduces encumbrances that will hamper rapid movement of the buses. The new BRT infrastructure has 15 bus shelters, three terminals, a bus depot garage which can store over 400 buses. The bus depot garage also has maintenance facilities, fuel dump and offices. There are six pedestrian bridges which will allow ease of access to the bus shelters and to cross the six lane road. Lagosians have commended the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, Lamata, on the introduction of a radio program, Lamata 360 Degrees, which airs on Lagos Traffic Radio every Tuesday between 8.15 and 9 a.m. The program is designed to engage members of the public on Lamata's core competencies, as well as serve as feedback mechanism on the authority's transport projects. According to Mr. Tayi Alashua Adura, the few episodes of the program that had aired had further broadened his knowledge about the core areas Lamata was set up to tackle in the transport sector. While commending the idea behind the program, he advised that Lamata should also consider another program in a widely spoken local language to educate and inform commuters who may not be speaking the English language. On his part, Mr. Chukubuikem Okonkwa said the program has become a must listen to for him since it broke on radio, saying the way explanations are given to questions gave hope of a better transport system for Lagos. He called on the private sector to complement what the Lagos State Government is doing in public transport infrastructure provision through Lamata by investing in public transportation. That ends the news highlights. Basically what Lamata does is uh, to coordinate uh, public transportation in Lagos State and um, we came up with a transport master plan. Developed together with the World Bank, the objective of this plan is finding long-lasting solutions for the problem of transportation in Lagos. Currently under its first steps of development, the plan has already proven itself a big success, dramatically increasing the connectivity in a city in continuous expansion and enjoying an unparalleled demographic and economic growth. Our responsibility is to I ensure that we provide the necessary infrastructure to meet the growth, to improve the quality of life, to improve the standard of living, and to make uh, Lagos a vibrant and livable city in years to come. Lamata, keeping Lagos moving. Welcome to Safety Tips. My name is Gideo Duyoye. Let us discuss how we get communicated to when we're on the road 
and what information we have when we're driving. One thing that is very clear is that the road signs is a very, very important tool in terms of someone talking to me when I'm driving. So if there's a road walk in, in front of me and I'm not aware, a sign will tell me that there are workmen on the road. It is very, very possible and likely that the road has been constricted, which means maybe a lane has been taken. So the sign will talk to me, and the sign will tell me I need to slow down before I get there. And if the sign is talking to me, the sign should talk to you too. I can also get to a traffic junction, and someone has been nice, exactly like Lamata or the state government. They've put traffic signals. Now, if the traffic signal says red, it means I should stop. Why? So that somebody else, my friend, my brother, my family, could be coming from the other side, and they have green lights. Then they need to go. What am I saying? I need to obey that information. Now, if you're driving in front of me, and you need to park your vehicle, I'm assuming you would know that where you need to park is okay and safe to do so. But first, and most importantly, you must indicate to me that you want to park your vehicle, so that I can react accordingly. If you're a learner driver, and no one is asking you not to learn, but tell me that you're a learner driver. Place your L plate behind your car, so that I can avoid you. Because me, I'm not a learner. So why am I crawling like you? And if you're a learner now, you come to the side a little bit, so that me, that I am a Speedo Gonzalez, or Mr. 20 years driving experience, I can maneuver and go and mind my own business. What's my own with learning? I am done with learning. But you must inform other people that you are still learning. All these things are the things that may or may not cause a crash. Communicating. You cannot communicate with telephone in your hands. And you cannot indicate by doing this because it doesn't mean I'm thinking maybe there's a bird. Sometimes I see someone's hand come out of the car, like maybe they want to fly with their hands. Do they have wings? What does this mean? Okay, maybe it means I should slow down. Nigerian factor. But anything you see on the road that will tell you to slow down or to tell you to react or to tell you to anticipate, they're all there. We should not. We should stop ignoring signs. If it says give way, give way. If you say stop, Stop means stop. It's very simple. Four words, four letters. S-T-O-P. It means stop. Give way on the roundabout. Give way. What is your wahala? That you want to be the one that will not be causing agro on the road. I keep on saying, let's be safe out there. About time too. The Lagos Rail Must Transit is the Lagos State Government's efforts to Lamata to establish a rail service that will ease the transportation challenges in the city. The first of the seven rail lines, which is the Blue Line Rail Service, will run from Okokomaiko to Marina, is in the advanced stages of development. And the Red Line, which will run from Agbado to Marina via Ido and Muritala Mohammed International Airport, is gearing towards commencement. We cannot overemphasize the benefits of the rail service. The price of travel across Lagos will be affordable, travel will be faster and safer. Lagos will be upgraded through job provision, business tourism, saved time and cleaner environment. And the grinding traffic congestion in Lagos will be tamed. We could spend hours reeling off the benefits, but no one is better suited for the task than the chief executor of this vision for the Lagos State Government, the managing director of Lamata, Dr. Dayo Mobriola. He's, He's asked, asked us, us to, to join, join him. Come, Come with, with us. us. This is ex extremely critical. Lagos uh, mega city, as in quote, as we've been calling it, is the only uh, mega city in the world that doesn't have a rail uh, mass transit. And that is why we have um, initiated plan to come up with various rail lines in order to make the city efficient, effective, and make it um, to assist growth. And as a result, um, uh, rail, rail transportation is um, 
is, is key to the growth of um, making the city a smart city, ultimately. We have uh, so far built about seven kilometers successfully, seven kilometers and, and four stations. And now we are just about going uh, over the lagoon to the other side of uh, Lagos Island. Uh, what has happened over time here yeah, in the last two years is that uh, we went through competitive uh, bidding process in order to identify and engage a private sector that will provide the roading stock, that is the train, the signaling, communication and everything. And then the private sector, of course, the concept is a private, uh, the public, uh, the government will provide the, uh, the, the, uh, the tracks, the station, the depot and, and all of that. Uh, but unfortunately, um, the preferred bidder that we eventually came up with, uh, having gone through the international competitive uh, tendering process and having gone up all over the world, we even went to, uh, we had a, um, a stakeholder forum in Lagos, Dubai, London in order to attract foreign investors. But um, um, yes, there were a lot of in in interest shown. And the, the and and then we carried out the evaluation, and the preferred bidder, whom we um, haven't considered their technical and financial viability to run the train, i.e., bring the running stock and run it over a period of time, we engaged them into a discussion in the last two two three years, but uh, I would say unfortunately we couldn't come to a reasonable conclusion. The plan B that we are going on to now is that we are still technically looking at the, the same structure, i.e. Uh, we would see if we, we can get um, uh, another bidder that would come in, bring in the rolling stock, the uh, communication signaling and all of that. But even if we don't get that, the state will now take it upon himself to um, get the, uh, the train, uh, which is the rolling stock, put in the signaling and, and the communications, and also, but we still are going to look for the experts, i.e. The, uh, the private sector to come and run it for a very period of time, because of we want the uh, we want it to be effective, we want it to be efficient, and as you would know we have this is the first time of running urban rail mass transit in lagos in, in, in also in nigeria and then indeed in, in the whole of west africa and sub-saharan africa really technically yes but uh, also we are also going to leverage on the fact that we could get um, export credit to, to buy to buy the trains and um, uh, we are also very sure that when the train starts running um, some of the burden of um, finance of repayment would be uh, would be from the ticketing and other revenues that can be generated or that would be generated from the running of the train system to pay back the, the loan uh, well at the moment Lagos state has been prudent enough not to have even borrowed one one dollar uh, so far. Uh, so, but uh, who knows, uh, the economy uh, worldwide is on its downturn, so we may have to look at, at how to uh, get more, uh, resources outside to, to, um, to, complete the, to complete the project. But like I said, uh, for me, the, um, the good thing about it is not the fact that the project is um, um, it, uh, when we're going to complete it. It is about the fact that we've started and like all the rail progress all over the world, um, it's, taking, it, it, it's going to be done in phases. The, the World Bank was not involved at the beginning. Uh, there was a time in which uh, the World Bank uh, actually came to have a look at it. Not just the World Bank alone, the French Development Agency also have a look at it. 
and um, and that was all because um, of the importance of the project, and they were they were all showing interest, but. Again, the election time was a period that everybody wanted to know what was going to play out because of the uh, the environment that we're in. Uh, but they have also come in in terms of technical advice and giving us the direction and looking at the environmental issues of uh, how we should go about it for the time being, yes. With Lamata, Lagos is changing for the best. But on that line alone, it will be eight, 800,000 uh, passengers per day. Go Akete, Lagos, my home. With Lamata, Lagos is changing for the best. I'm singling out this project on its own, on its own merit, in the sense that, um, like I've made reference to it, we have 22 million uh, per trip passengers of going around Lagos on a daily basis. So there is no government um, that is what is sought that would come and said it doesn't want to provide a comfortable, cheaper, uh, safe, affordable means of transportation uh, for the citizens. So any 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 government would go continue with this project. Well, the total package uh, for the whole system is 1.2 uh, billion uh, dollars. That is the infrastructure alone. Like I said, uh, I did mention to you th that uh, we have about. Um, uh, Four kilometers that is, um, as you have rightly identified, that is elevated, and a huge part of it is actually going across the lagoon, and that means a lot of it's like building building a bridge, and that also include uh, the depot, uh, the maintenance yard, the housing unit for the uh, for the operations and all of that, uh, and um, we have uh, thirteen stations as well. So it is $1.2 million for that. Billion. 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 $1.2 billion. Well, um, it's, it's, it's very simple. What we did was um, we advertised locally and internationally uh, for uh, the construction of the blue, uh, blue line. And um, we got, uh, I think, about 20 something response. Um, and then we evaluated all of this response. And um, the CCCC won because they were uh, the, mo the best technically uh, available um, at that time. And also their price was, was the least um, to build. It was the lowest. Was the lowest. And, and that was why we, we um, awarded it to the Chinese. And bear in mind, as you would know, the Chinese have, uh, they have also have a very good uh, rail network in, in their country, so they have very good experience in building this type of rail, and they have been doing it. Uh, the CCCC, for example, has been building rail for the past uh, 60, 70 years. Go Akete, Lagos, my home. With Lamata, Lagos is changing for the best. Yes, indeed. Uh, we have. Um, um, international consultants and uh, we also have local consultants and we have our own consultants in the house and all the three consultants um, agreed to the fact that uh, the quality of uh, construction so far is good one is it makes because the um, project uh, and, and then this uh, specification is of in international quality anyway and, and international, international specification and that is what we are going with, and that is what the, the Chinese are, de are delivering for us. I'm not the only one that is excited. Uh, the whole of uh, uh, Lagos, the uh, Lagosians are excited, and um, even Nigerians, any, anywhere that I go to, the question if you just asked is what they all ask me, when is the rail line going to uh, commence, when is it going to be completed. So, uh, and, um, so we are all looking forward to the uh, rail system.
I feel excited this time I talk about the Blue Line Rail project. Me, I'm really fascinated about the elevated tracks. Which means Lagos State Government has reached its final point of no return to become one of the world's greatest cities. And Lamata will never relent on seeing these grand dreams become a common reality. Thank you for sending the inspiring messages during the week. Let's take a look at some of them. This one is from Musa Ismail Adru Aliri. And he says, the agency has been doing amazingly great right from inception of the transportation project and still going stronger. It needs to procure new buses because more people are trusting and patronizing the system and also needs to refurbish old buses. Kudos to you. And lastly, rehabilitate your 40 lanes. Thank you for moving Lagos State ahead of others. Thank you so much, Musa, for your messages. I would like to assure you that Lamata is working with the operator on the modality to procure new buses as well as refurbish aging ones. In order to improve your travel experience, we are changing the BRT lanes from asphalt to rigid pavement. And when all these interventions are completed, you will enjoy a more pleasant experience. We don't get tired of receiving your messages, so keep them coming. Send your questions, comments, and observations on any of our following contacts. Thank you again for joining us today on the show. We trust you'll join us for the next one in good health, sound mind, and one piece. If you take heed to these wise words of Rachel Boston, learn from the past, dream about the future, and never stop looking up. I am Kate Harmony. I'm Obafemi Craig. Lamata. Keeping Lagos moving. With Lamata, Lagos is changing for the best. Be